Alice, this, this isn't right. This isn't even a road. Trust me. It just doesn't look at all like what she described. Well, it is night time. I'm telling you, we should have gone left at that petrol station. And I'm telling you, this is right. But excuse me if I don't explicitly trust your sense of direction. Oh, you cannot keep throwing your mum's birthday back in my face. But we were nearly two hours late. Yeah, what crying shame that would have been. You see, this is why they invented GPS. You do know that people managed to find their way for thousands of years before GPS was invented. Yeah, they also, uh, they also died of smallpox back then as well. Shall we ask for directions? Yeah? Where the hell have you been? I thought we were lost. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I know. Louis wanted to have a drink before we set off, and you've been drinking. We all just a little something to settle the nerves. Like. Unbelievable. Me is sure we can still trust him? Well, you should see the way the little friggin' forget boy looks at her. Anyway, here are a few accessories, fresh from the catwalks of Paris, so you should look very fetching. OK, uh, better get going. So, um, don't forget to park in front of the bakery, yeah? In the blind spot, we know. Yeah, yeah. One chance. Sandals, right, you know. This will really bring out your eyes. the way Mia jumped that fence. Fucking badass. <laughs> the others should be back by now. Guys, clear some space. Is that a good idea? I want to look at it. Oi, what is French for we are fucking rich? Your dad's got really shit taste in art. Uh, don't knock it. It's worth more than the house. <laughs> uh, at least put it away if you're going to throw vodka around. Oh, come on. Shh. Happy. Wait, what's that even say? Henry Gondi French? Henri Pavard. And where the hell are they? Shouldn't you get on to Eddie and let him know it's done? I want to wait until they're back. He'll be waiting too. Fine. Yeah, but it, they can still track a laptop, can't they? Does this mean I can get my phone back? Uh, no, because Eddie set him up with a fake account. Yeah, but right, you know this whole radio science thing? It's probably more conspicuous than if I checked in at your dad's gallery. I'm just saying, people are going to notice if I just disappear. No phones, that was the rule. I believe you shared that you pulled it off. I told you we'd do it. No problem. It was just as Mia said it would be. The daddy's gonna be pissed. I think that's the point. Sounds like my kind of laugh. <sighs> anyway, I suppose I should be getting myself on the ferry. Yeah, the sooner we get out of this place, 
the better. Look, I'll sort it all, don't worry, just sit tight, okay? And look after the fucking thing, yeah? Don't worry. Okay. I'll be seeing ya. To your dad for being rich enough to waste money on art and stupid enough to leave it lying around. Amen. <laughs> You, th you think he'll suspect you? <laughs> that would involve him thinking about someone else for a second. Oi, what did he say? He's on his way. Oh, cool. When's he gonna get here? I don't know exactly, Xander. I didn't ask for his itinerary. As soon as he can, I guess. Here we go. What time do you call this? Sean was shitting himself. <laughs> where's Louis? Yeah, where, where's Frenchie? Something happened. What? Just don't freak out. What's happened? It was all so fast, OK? Where's Louis? Oh, my god. Oh, fuck! What the hell happened? A guard just came out of nowhere. Oh, is, he, is he dead? Oh, he looks pretty fucking dead to me. Why didn't you do something? Like what exactly? Well, why didn't you take him to a hospital? And get us both arrested. No chance. No, well, what are you doing? Don't touch it. You have to check. God, he's dead. We're dead. No. No, we're not. We killed someone. How are you so calm? We didn't do this. Oh, so we're innocent? Yes. No. I don't know, but this is not our fault. I told him it'd be easy. Yeah, you could have saved him. Are you kidding? You'd have done the exact same thing if you were in that car. No, I wouldn't have. Do not get high and mighty How with can me. You be There's nothing we could do, Sean. We don't know that. Look at him. Do you think he stood a fucking chance? But you could have tried. I'm not having this argument. No, of course not. Because whatever you say goes, isn't that right? Some of us need this money. You know, like, actually need it. Yeah, well, now someone is dead. Guys. But look, it's done now. You know, so we'll, we'll go on then, what we'll, do we do? Yeah, but that does not mean that we're not responsible. Oh, come on, don't be so fucking naive. Oh, but it's even... done. No, wait, 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 we can't just leave him in there. Why not? Because he's going to leave. Jesus, Sam. Look, I'm sorry, but no, it's, it's a rental. All right. All right, we'll move him somewhere out of the way. Not much of a resting place, but it's dry and away from the house. It's all my fault. You can't blame yourself. He only did it because I asked. He was in it for the money, Mia. Same as us. And look where it got him. Point in that. What well, doesn't hurt to be cautious? Sorry, Louis. Was a bit of a prick, though. Sander. No, come on. He was always perving over Mia. In a weird way, I guess this makes it easier. What? Dividing the money goes into five shares, much easier than six. How can you even? He earned his car. It's no use to him now. You changed your tune. Well, what are we supposed to do? Track down his poor French mother? I can't believe you. You just want to take it. Look me in the eye and tell me you weren't thinking exactly the same thing on the drive over. I see. So you'll give us shit for not taking him to a hospital, but you're all cool with uh, robbing a corpse. That's some fine moral compass you got there. Oh, fuck you. We don't all have jobs waiting for us back home. You think I like working for my dad? Can you two just please give it a rest for once? Yep, or get a rule out.
case. Are you all right? Oh, so now you care. That's was really scary. I just wanted to... You don't get to have it both ways. And it's not even 9 a.m. Think it's well deserved. Come on, to the way. <laughs> Let's go again. Reese. Reese, what are you doing? Putting it somewhere safe. I thought it was locked. It was. It'll be out of the way up here. Safe from that lot. What can they do? Listen to them. They think it's all over. They've done their bit. They risk just as much as us. Yeah, and I'll be damned if they're gonna fuck it up for us now. Shit. Wow. I thought Mia's dad was one of those neat obsessives. Yeah, well, not by the looks of this. I don't know how somebody can have so much stuff and not want any of it. It's a wise man who appreciates what he's got before it's gone. Casey, listen. Don't. Look, can you just fucking hear me out? I know none of this was... What I mean is... You're right, I don't get to have it both ways. But it's nice we can be friends again. You know, pass it all off as a bit of stupid fun. No harm. Stupid fun. Well, what else would you call it? Well, I thought you... Do you need a minute? Leave it, Sean. What do you want? You disappeared up here with the painting. I think I have a right to see what you're doing. Don't you trust us? I just want to check for myself. That's a no then. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, wait. We need to be able to find it again, you know. Look, I'm just being cautious. What if the police turn up? Oh, yeah, because they're sure to be fooled by your cunning hiding place. Besides, wouldn't we be in handcuffs right now if they knew who we were? That doesn't mean they won't put it together later. Who knows what they might find? We were careful in there, were you? I'm not the one who brought back a fucking dead guy. Okay, you guys need to calm down. No one knows we're here, not even Mia's dad. The only one was Louis and, well. Yeah, that's one less loose end. Right, I'm gonna get some sleep. I suggest you do the same. What about outside? It could take a while to dig that deep. Speaking from experience. I don't know what you ever saw in him. remember how tall he was. What? Louis. I mean, I know he was taller than me, but how big does this thing need to be? Come on. We'll go fast over two of us. Thanks. So go on, what are you going to do with your share? I don't know. Go travelling, buy stuff. Thing is, I can do whatever I like now. Yeah, but... I mean, why not your dad wonder where you got all the money from? Like, he'd actually care. He'd probably think I started selling drugs or something. Maybe he'll try to buy some of me. You know, I'm gonna buy a house boat, me. What? Yep. Not right. Not one of those like shitty canal boats. Now, like a, a proper one, like rooms and everything. 
Yeah. Dream big. Yeah, come on, think about it. Like, you know, if I ever get bored of living in the same place and screw it, I just set off someplace else. You know? No mortgages, no that crap. Just somewhere that was mine, you know, forever. It does sound good, actually. Oi. Promise me you're gonna visit? Please. You'll be needing a spare room just for me. All right, where the hell is Reese? Come on, it's got to be his turn now. Do you want me to give him a shout? Him and Casey are sleeping upstairs. Separately. I wish those two never hooked up. It's really messed up with the group dynamics. Yeah. Well, Reese has been in the sulk this whole holiday. Yep. He can be a right dick when he's in a mood. Don't do the same mistake. What? Casey, it's really hard to go back once you've crossed that line. Just saying. I need a drink. He should really let this Casey thing go. Uh, honestly, just leave him to it. You know, if those three want to implode on each other, then so be it. Yeah, great, more money for us. This homie. Just like in uni. Though no one's drinking gin out of a pan. Oh, that's nothing, I'm not that hungry. Oh, well then, we're gonna pass over here. Because some of us have worked up an appetite digging a fucking grave. I am getting the wine. Be careful. You know, the last time we all sat around drinking wine, Mia hatched a criminal plot. Well, what can I say? It brings out my devious side. Well, what's it going to be this time? Grand Theft Auto? What a little murder between friends. Any update from Eddie? Radio silence. I don't see why he didn't come sooner. I don't think he really believed we'd pull it off. 
Can you blame him? I didn't think we'd pull it off either. And yet, here we are. Yeah, well, he better hurry up, because this place is giving me the creeps. We still have to finish up outside tonight, too. Even better. I just want to get out of there. Yeah, we all do. Well, let's hope I don't go stir crazy. Read a book. Take your mind off it. Yeah, because you can talk. All work and no play makes Reese a very dull boy, yeah? Then go stretch your legs after we've eaten. Yeah, well, if you do, don't wonder too far. It's going to be dark. And? Don't tell me you're scared. Only of tripping over a root and breaking my neck. Mm, not sure there's enough room in the woodshed for two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> you know, my dad told me a creepy story about those woods. Okay, let me guess. Um, it is the jeweled ghost of a woman in white who lurks the hallways looking to avenge her former lover. I can get behind that. I've actually got it. It's better. Okay. Um, it is haunted by a dead soldier from the war. And sometimes at night, if you listen very closely, you can hear his parachute harness jangling from the branches above you. That's not scary. A ghost have got to be from like, um, like olden times. Uh, okay, what are you like 12? Like World War Two is older days. Okay, just let me tell you the actual story. Here we go. So, there's this stone in the middle of the wood called the Witch's Needle. Apparently, they buried an old witch there and put this huge stone on top of it to stop her climbing out of a grave. The story goes that one night, two teenagers were walking in the woods when they start hearing footsteps on the path behind them. At first, they don't really think much about it. There's loads of villagers around, but then, their torches goes out. And as they stand there in the darkness, the footsteps get closer and closer. It's pitch black. And suddenly, they can feel it breathing on the back of their necks. The one with the torch desperately presses the switch when suddenly, finally, it gets on. Only now, he's the only one standing in the wood. His friend has vanished. He panics and starts running, desperate to get out. And then, he hears it again. Footsteps on the path behind him. <laughs> Scared, Zan. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> don't really see what that's got to do with a dead witch. Well, some things just can't stay buried. Well, that's shit. Oh, go on then, you tell a better one. That stuff's all for kids. Killjoy. Yeah, come on, it's just a bit of stupid fun. Funny, I'm not allowed to use that excuse. Nice going. Casey. Well, Casey. Why can't you just keep your mouth shut? Hi. I am knackered. Being a criminal really takes it out of you. I don't mean that. I just cook for five people. I don't know how my mum did it for so many years. Listen, I wanted to ask you, Louis, what happened? Reese said he was slow coming out the door. God saw him. So, you weren't there? I'd gone to get the car, that was my job. But why does this matter? Just, uh, just something Reese said. You are beyond paranoid. Can you blame me? This whole thing has turned into a fucking nightmare. It, it was meant to be easy and, and now we have a body on our hands. Please don't. How do you seem so okay with it all? I'm not okay with this. Of course I'm not, but you know I need that money. My mo 
It was an accident. What happened to Louis? I wish he was still alive. I wish none of it had happened, but... I just keep thinking that this is going to save my mum's life. Do you trust Reese? Why? None of this has turned out how we expected. And that makes people do stupid things. You two used to be best mates. Yeah, well, lately I've seen what kind of a man he is. How can someone who says that they love you just throw you away like that? He'll be kicking himself in no time. Okay, he, he dumped you just before you struck it rich. That makes him an utter moron. Yeah. You liked him, okay, you made a move and it didn't work out. So what? It's always the stuff you don't do that you regret more. Not the stuff that you do. Oh, I thought, um, uh, Reese. Do you really want to be thinking about him right now? Mia? What about this one? I think my mum got it in a second hand shop. Oh. It's nothing special then? Nah. Nah. <laughs> so, so why hasn't your dad pimped out this place yet? He hates coming here. Rarely does if he can avoid it. He keeps telling about selling the house, although it was my mom's favorite place. Like he gives a shit, I suppose. Wangle. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was like seven months after she died that he tells me he's seeing someone new. Or well, if, if my dad did that, I would. Never speak to him again. 
Yeah, well, hopefully I'll never have to. Ever again. <sighs> okay. Enough talk about that, Tessa. Do you want another drink? Louis, he's gone! Wait, 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 what do you mean he's gone? I mean, he's not fucking there! See? Reese, what did you do? Wait, I haven't fucking touched him. Who do that? Fuck, 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 he's gone! What's going on? What's yeah, happening? Yeah, we're here! But he was just here, I don't understand. How can he move? When? Reese just looked out and you hear him shouting. Are you fucking with us? What? I swear to God, if you've moved him. Why the hell would I do that? Oh, I can think of a few reasons. Oh, you really think that I would... You must go fucking mental. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, the, maybe a wild animal took him. Well, come on, we are in the middle of nowhere. We're still in fucking yeah, France. Yeah, I know we're in France, but there are still, like, foxes or, or a dog, maybe. Oh, you know. think a dog just has dragged him off? Yeah. Well, how would you explain it? What do you, what do you suggest? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What if he walked away? Oh, you really have lost it. I mean, what if he wasn't dead? No, I've checked his pulse. He was dead. Yeah, but you're not a nurse, though, are you? Maybe, maybe you did it wrong. No, I checked his pulse. He was dead. There's no way. Downstairs. I didn't want to wake you. You could have waited for me. Don't get your knickers in a twist. If you woke up out here, all alone, where would you go? Don't know. I doubt he knows where he is. Or if he can even think straight at all. We have to find him. Uh, if someone else gets to him first. I know. I know. We should have made sure. But we thought we did. Well, not like that. I'd do anything for you, you know. What? You know, I would do... Dan! Any luck? Nope. And Mia is about to call a fingerprint search, so... I thought I'd come this way to hide. OK. This leads down to the river, so we'll go. Cool, yeah, I'll come with you. OK, wait for me. Why didn't no one think just to toss him in here? That would have been the easy solution, right? I remember that next time I got a dead body on my hands. Wow. What the fuck was that? Fox. What? You never heard one before. I hear them all the time when I'm coming home after a late shift. Yeah, 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 but that, that is a creepy fucking fox. Sounds like a girl screaming. Listen to it. You hear how the sound stays the same? People don't scream like that.
Oh right, guys, what, what, what is that? Sam, be careful. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'm going to get it. We're back. Oi. Do you think this is Louis' shoe? Like I can remember what shoes he had on. Well, it has to be, right? Well, then how'd he get all the way over here? Oi, what is that? Nothing. Just a piece of twig. Come on. Let's get you back to the house before you die of hypothermia. You go. I'll keep looking. Oh, no, you don't. It'll be dark soon. You'll be no use to anyone out here in the pitch black. Yep, and you don't want to be eaten up by that evil witch ghost, do you? Not Come on. now we have a zombie to contend with. Hmm. Oh, don't have me. Shut up. Go, stop it. What happened to you? Decided to go for a little swim, didn't you, Zan? Any sign of Louis? Maybe if we look tomorrow morning? Okay. Is there any point? Well, he's got to be around here somewhere. So what about down there? What? Did you check there? Yeah, yeah, we, we went down earlier, yeah. There's someone in the house! Louis? You're here? Mia, I don't think anyone's here. It has to be. Look, could have seen me. I was up here. It wasn't you. Someone else was behind you. I didn't see anyone. Well, I know what I saw. Look, Mia, I know you want Louis, but this is getting ridiculous now. Someone was up here, I swear to God. Are you sure it wasn't Reese? Yeah, yeah, maybe it was a reflection or, uh, I don't know, maybe... Why don't you believe me? Someone was here. Louis was up here. Are you sure it was Louis? It was just for a second, but it has to be. Mia, I'm just saying, if it was Louis, why would he hide from us? Look, I know how much you want to find Louis. We all do. But he's not here. Then someone else is in the house. We have to go. Oh, well, wait, you can't be serious. We have to leave. We have to leave now. Wait, wait. We'll search the house. We'll see if anyone's here, okay? No, we have to go. And go where? Okay, that painting is useless without Eddie. We, we can't just, just leave. Rub it and We're leave. staying. Okay, you can go if you want, but that painting is staying right here. I'm not running off just because you freaked yourself out. Okay, okay, wait, 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 Mia, they are right. We can't leave. We'll search the house. We'll go room to room. Will that make you happy? It's not about me being happy. But if we search the house and there's no one here, will you agree to stay? <sighs> Fine. 
We'll do it your way. All right, cool. Okay, All right, you guys stay here. Okay. Sean and I will check the bedrooms. Well, no, 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 we should be sticking together. It's going to be safe, or...? No, but this way, you can keep an eye on the stairs. And that will stop the risk of anyone getting past us. All right, well, can we start with my room? I want to put some dry clothes on. Fine. Guys, come on, get out. I've got a, uh, I've got a change. Okay. See ya. Right, man. Jesus. Lots of places to hide up here. What exactly is their plan if they do find someone? Depends who it is, I guess. There's no one here. We said we'd look properly. You know I'm right.
Oh, hey. Wait, question. What is um, French for thank you for the help with the search? You were out looking for a dead guy. There's got to be a Chinese proverb about futility in there somewhere. Yeah, but it beats sitting around here doing nothing. Besides, like what if Mia is right? What if, what if he's out there? He's dead. I was there. I saw how much blood he lost. All right, so how would you explain what's going on? Either it was a wild animal. No, because when I suggested that, you all laughed at me. Or someone moved him. But who? Exactly. Now, I was in my room all day, so for all I know, any one of you could have slipped out. But Mia and I were down here the whole time. Of course, you wouldn't be lying about that, would no, you? No, I wouldn't be lying about that. Why would anyone be lying? Because all bets are off now. We fucked up. The second Louis got shot, plan changed. Okay, so... So we we take the cars and we hop on the next ferry. We could be home by this time tomorrow, right? Not without Eddie. No, but we don't need him. Do you know how to sell a stolen painting? You and how do we actually know he's even coming? You know, like you just said, the, the, the whole game changed. He has to. Because if he doesn't, we're fucked. What? What do you want? Do you trust the others? Of course I do. Even now, after everything that's happened? We don't know anyone else is We just took the guard's gun. Did you know that? What? You tried hiding it from us. How do you know? Because I found it. <laughs> you took it? Well, I didn't want to just leave it. Oh, so you thought it would be a good idea just to take it? He tried hiding it from us in the first place. Why would you take it? You don't know how to use a fucking gun. I don't trust him with it. Oh, you are like a dog with a bone, I swear to God. I can't just sit downstairs knowing he has a weapon stashed up here. You need to let this go, okay? I can handle him. I'm just trying to protect us. Sean, there is no us. Mia, you in here? Up here. What are you doing up there? Nothing. Just sitting. Bought you some tea. Thank you. You will think I'm a liar, don't you? Of course we don't. I just know how badly you want to find him. We should have never gone to him. If he had... None of this would have been possible without him. Those CCTV tapes would have been the end of us. Still, I am the one who got him involved. I am the one who picked him. He was always so kind to me. I remember the first time we met, me and my dad had just had this massive argument and he found me outside in the car park. He told me that 
He and his dad used to have shouting matches too. But that I was louder than any of them. I knew it'd be easy to persuade him to join us. You cannot blame yourself. This was his choice. What if he's still out there? You can't think like that? Do you really think... I mean... that he was... I'm sorry. What if we're wrong? What if he's still out there? I helped Reese put him into that car. And even then... He just wasn't there anymore. I wish I was wrong, but there is no way he could have survived that. <laughs> he must have been so scared. <laughs> and it's all my fault. It might be a better idea to keep a watch on the house than the road. Mia's just feeling guilty. We're all responsible. Some of us are more responsible than others. You were all in favour of this stupid heist even before the facts, and now you can't stop shifting the blame. Do you know what your problem is, Rhys? You always want what you can't have, and the second you get something, you don't want it anymore. Sean, leave. No, 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 no. He should hear this. Do you know what you are, Reese? You're a coward. Always too scared to try. Yeah? What does that make you? A man who gets what he wants. Where are you going? Out. What's going on? Nothing. There you are. Didn't realise you were looking for me. What are you doing out here? Just needed some air. Are these yours? You are unbelievable. Casey, they're not mine. After everything you said to me, all those promises you made. I swear to God, they're not mine. Oh! Then whose are they? Huh? You're the only one out of us who smokes. Never mind specific brand. Jesus, Reese, you're so full of shit. Casey, please. You knew how much it meant to me. After everything I watched my mum go through and my dad powerless to help, you really didn't mean a single fucking word, did you? I don't know how they got there if you just let me... look like the police. Where the fuck is Eddie? Go out and talk to him. What? It's your house, right? So you've nothing to hide. Go out and see who it is. What am I meant to say? Anything. Just get him to go away. Go. Fuck are you? I was going to ask you the same question. What are you doing here? I live here. What's your excuse? Uh, I know the owner. He's a mate. He's not here. You better go. Oh, wait a second. I've driven all this way. I promised later I'd take you somewhere nice. You better take her somewhere else. You're trespassing. No, 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 wait a second. Charles said this place was empty. 
What the hell are you doing here? I think you're the one trespassing. Look. You let me get on with my business and I'll leave you to yours. No one needs to know, right? Leave now. Hey, they're coming, babe! Stop! What's going on? He wouldn't listen. All right, mate. Don't worry. I'm not here to interrupt your little party. If I were you, I'd listen to when a lady says no. Like I said to your bird, I don't give a shit who you are. See, I know the owner. And he lets me stop over when I'm in the area. And I was in the area, so here I am. She gave you a chance to leave. Remember that. Just get out of the fucking way. Whoa, fucking hell, boy! Turn around and drive out of here. You fucking lost it. Do it while you still can. I said, Lenin's all right, all right. Fucking hell. Your man's mental, you know that. Just leave. Oh, I'm going. I'll be careful around him if I were you. Where the hell did you get that? Ask Reese. You stole it. You shouldn't have hit it. Why did anyone have a gun? What were you gonna do with it? I've just saved us from that arsehole. You should be thanking me. What if he comes back? Then I'll sort him out for real. Oh, Christ, listen to yourself. Give it to me. Fat chance. I'm serious, Sean. So am I, okay? You don't get to be the one in charge anymore. How do we even know you're telling the truth about Louis, huh? How do we know that you didn't do him in? What the fuck are you on about? No one else saw it happen. And with him gone, we all get a big cut of the money, don't we? An idea which was originally yours, if I remember. I'm greedy. What can I say? But we know that I didn't kill anyone. Can both of you calm the fuck down? You want to ask questions? Yeah? You want to ask questions? Who moved Louis? Because I was in my room all day. Where were you? Fucking Casey. If you must know. Stop it, Sean. Funny. That's not what you were saying earlier. Whoa, 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 I think we all need to take a minute here. When we get back to England, I want you out. You can go back to your mum if she'll fucking take you. Fuck you, fine. You don't ever need to see me again. Once I get my money, I'm gone. You're all unbelievable. The whole point of that stupid plan was to change our lives. Yeah, well, things are definitely different now. You have impeccable taste in men. Yeah. The sun left and I've got the full set. Mia wouldn't speak to you ever again. That's not them. You know I didn't have anything to do with it. You believe me? I don't know what to believe. I just want to go to bed and wake up weeks from now. Something was a mistake. Do you mean the painting or...? What the hell are you doing? Look, I, I was just gonna move it. Why the hell would you do that? 
I, I, I can see where this is headed, you know? You and Reese, one more wrong word, and one of you's gonna snap, so I just, just thought I'd put it somewhere safe. I see. Look, I've to stop, but I thought that way you, you'd both have to sit and weigh it out for Eddie and not take matters into your own hands. And that's exactly what you're doing, isn't it? Of course. <laughs> Jesus. Sam, it's only me. Yeah, I know. I don't think the others will take you kindly to know what you're doing. And yet you, you haven't, you haven't shouted for any of them, so. I was hoping we could sort this out between ourselves, eh? Can you explain to me why exactly you're up here. Shit! Please are outside! What? Get the lights! What are they doing here? Get down! Gendarmerie nationale, ouvrez la porte, s'il vous plaît. Il y a quelqu'un, ouvrez la porte, s'il vous plaît. Gendarmerie nationale. Do you think that drunk bastard called them? Why did Sean have to go waving that gun around? Okay, we have to get out of here, screw Eddie. Going to the police, okay? I will come this fucking far to get arrested. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. Someone else here. The police, why, why can you it was here but you wouldn't let me? We have to go. Right now. What about me? We have to leave her. What? Right now. We have to go. 
Not without the painting. What are you fucking kidding? She is dead because of it. I'm not just going to leave it here. It's upstairs. So let's go get it. Oh, no fucking way. I'm not going up there. No. Okay. Uh, Reese, take Zonda and get the car. Casey and I will meet you outside with the painting. Okay? No. Halfway there. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Please! Please! No, 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 no. What's going on? No. What's going on? What's going on? Get the engine. Get the engine. No, no, I'm not going out there. No one. There's nothing to worry about. We give this painting to Eddie, and he'll let us go. Let us go? Wait, Eddie's here? Oh, you're helping him. Casey, open the fucking door! Yes, 
to get out of here. Listen, Rana, you've got something there. Sure, might be working with him. What? Come on, we have to go! Shut the fuck up! Please, please, Shut just the let fuck up! Please, just let him. Eddie, no, please. Where's the painting, Tracy? Where's the fuck I'm hiding? Please, just let him go! Don't make me ask you again. Okay, okay. It's in the kitchen. Check that way. Casey! Just come out. We only want the painting. Casey, I swear to God! <laughs> Don't you fucking move! Where's the painting? I know you've hidden it somewhere. Go fuck yourself. I told you you didn't know how to use a fucking gun. Ow. You got You okay? You? 
Nein. Ich bin so schade, Jan. Ich schon. Und zu Franz, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Well, let's never listen to a word I say ever again, okay? Do. Oh, fuck. Oh. Painting. I'll just leave it. You can't just... I thought we weren't listening to you anymore. Monsieur, à l'hôpital, s'il vous plaît. 